work the Almighty God for the work He has done for us. We were held in some six years ago, some uh, some six days ago, and put in a place where we did not even know where we were. But by the prayer of the living God, uh, those places we were going when we were wrapped, wrapped our heads, we did not uh, know where we are going or understand what we were being done. We pray that we have undergone all that and we have succeeded. Now that we have come to this court and we have been at least, we pray that we continue having peace in this republic and that we are going to, to talk to each other to, to, to make sure that we live in peace. And also we urge the, 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 the government and the opposition to talk so that they can sort, sort out this matter which is disturbing the people of Kenya. We know there is a lot of problem in the cost of living and everything that is affecting the Kenyan people. Everything is up, everything is up, and uh, that's why some people are making noise. Nataka kuwashukuru sana wa Kenya ambao wamesimama na sisi, wakati muda huo wote tumekuwa katika gizani, tulishikwa siku sita ambazo zileisha, tukaperekwa pahali ambao wapajulikani, tukafungiwa, hata masai ni tulikuwa tunafanyiwa ya wasai na baya ya tujui tunafanya nini. Tukawekelo mabitu, ambazo wa tujui tukumetoka wapi. Lakini mungu ni muema. Siku ya leo, tukumuja kotini, na tukumetoa bond. Hili tuendele kufanya kesi tukua inje. Lakini sasa, habili wanavyo fanya kuwekelea watu makesi, haifai. Tulikuwa tunaomba serekali ambaye ikuwa na masimama, inasimama kuzuri. Lakini sasa tunaona kuna tatizo kidogo naomba amani yendelee kuwa na watu wanapopeleka kotini wapeleka kotini kwa ajili ya makosa yao si majuma kwa ajili ya kuelewa bangi nini nini mimi ni bisha kwa kanisa siwezi kuwa na maana kama hiyo ninashukuru watu wote na wa Kenya na kusimama na sisi kwa huu wada wakati mkubwa